for our household garbage, we like it to be bagged, uh, placed in a can with a lid. Um, we like it not to be out until after 6 p.m. the night before. Um, that helps to keep the critters and, and, and the people out of your garbage and get it strewn through, throughout the neighborhood. If you're gonna have brush, cut it in four foot sections, bundle it you know, with a rope, an old t-shirt, a rag, something of that nature tied together. As long as it don't weigh up more than 75 pounds, our normal household garbage folks will pick that up for you. We would ask that the limbs be bundled or the brush be bundled, is that our household garbage folks can just grab it and throw it into the hopper. They have to be on schedule. As most people know, if the garbage men are at your house about the same time within a minute either way every week. And so if they have to stop and start picking up large piles of brush, the second thing is most people want it gone. So help us help you and bundle it accordingly. And then we can grab it and go. If it's a larger load, we encourage you to call our office at 304-696-5903 and schedule a special pickup. Uh, if it's an eight foot bed pickup truck uh, that can be easily loaded with one person, then it's free of charge. Um, if it's a bigger item, a bulkier item, then we have to send equipment out, then there could be a charge for that. You're allowed one special pickup per month, um, and you're also allowed to take, most people don't know this, you're allowed to take one free eight foot bed pickup to our landfill in Deets Hollow, Monday through Friday, eight to two, and then every third Saturday from eight to one. And you can take just about anything up there, except you can't take any type of appliance that has Freon. If the compressor is removed, you can take it. But anything that has Freon, oils, paints is a big one. If uh, you got paints, old cans of paint, uh, take the lid off of them, keep them inside, put some kitty litter, oil dry, whatever you may have, let them harden up, and then set them outside for, and the trash guys will get those. Uh, do not put the lids back on them once they're hard. Your household guards, we'd like for you to make sure that the chemicals like bleach jugs, uh, dishwashing liquid jugs, laundry detergent, things that have chemicals, air, aerosol spray cans, please do not put them in the same uh, bags together to where they can mix. When they get into the hopper and it crushes everything, those things will mix together and can, it can cause an explosion. We had that about four years ago happen. Fortunately, uh, the, my folks had their proper PPE on and none of it got in their eyes. But it can be a, a very disastrous thing to happen to our employees. So if you have it, just take the time to separate. Make sure they're emptied. Uh, make sure your laundry detergent, your dishwashing, those things, gallon bleach jugs, make sure wash them out before you throw them into your garbage. It, is, it just prevents, it takes you know, 10 seconds max for a, for a homeowner to do so, but it could save a life. Syringes are definitely not um, something we want. Um, if, you, if you're a diabetic, um, we encourage you to take your needles and put them in like a 20 ounce uh, plastic bottle. Uh, put them in something. Don't just wrap them up in plastic for, you know, and if you have the cap, put the cap back on the end of the needle. 